Sobra-sobra talaga mag-exaggerate. Itong si Maria Reza, ang president ng Rappler, the publication, the online publication that uh, never ceases, never stops to lambast, to criticize President Rodrigo Duterte. In an interview uh, two days ago, she described her experience as a journalist in the Philippines as worse than any war zone she has ever been. Sobra sobra naman talaga. I have been a journalist for mm, 40 years now. Uh, that is uh, counting from the first time I worked for a newspaper. I was, I was uh, actually, I started working when I was still in college at the age of 17. So that makes it uh, a total of 43. But I would count uh, my my work with uh, mainstream media at the time, first locally, then nationally, and then internationally. Hindi naman po sa pagmayayabang, but uh, I was a correspondent for international publications uh, during my younger years to include Asia Week magazine, um, Asahi Shimbun of Japan, Agence France Press, the, uh, the French news agency, and other publications. I also contributed as a stringer uh, for other publications abroad. No? And uh, I wrote for the Philippine Daily Inquirer when it was still very, very young. Uh, they, of course, Business World, uh, before that, uh, Business Day. But uh, I would say that uh, the highlight of my journalism career uh, was when I became the youngest editor-in-chief uh, here in Il Vido City for a local daily newspaper, the, uh, the Daily Times. No? That was in 1988. And uh, I was just 29, and uh, I, I really feel proud about that, that uh, at such a young age, I was already running a daily newspaper. So, marami po, marami po akong karanasan uh, to include uh, being in the war zone myself. Uh, I, I have faced countless libel cases. <laughs> sa masamang palad, may, meron po akong conviction lately lang, no? Sa kaso na isinampa sa akin ni, ni Senator Franklin Rilon. But in the past, all cases, including those filed by former Iloilo City Mayor Jed Patrick Mabilog, eh, na-dismiss po. So, hindi po ako kulang. I would not feel inadequate in terms of going through all sorts of experiences as a, a journalist po. And hindi po totoo yung sinasabi ni Maria Reza. Because ngayon po, although I am... I am now more on social media. I still write a regular column for the Daily Guardian uh, in Iloilo City. Uh, but uh, I have stopped uh, writing news uh, for newspapers. I was a broadcaster. I anchored a news program uh, when Action Radio, which was uh, opened as uh, DYOK 720, 720 in uh, 1991. No? Wala po akong experience sa radio, but yet I was uh, hired, I was recruited uh, to become an anchorman uh, because of my wide experience no? as a writer and journalist. So, what I'm saying is, uh, hindi, po, hindi po totoo yan. It's not true that uh, being a journalist now is worse than any war zone anybody could have been to. Eh, sobra-sobra po. Dahil siguro galit lang si Maria Reza na na sinampahan siya ng maraming kaso, especially tax evasion. Eh, totoo naman yun eh. You know, I have uh, I have been charged with libel. I never cried I, I never cried uh, oppression. I never cried persecution. I took that as a as part of the hazards of the trade. Hindi <laughs> po iiyak ka na sabihin mo inaapi ka dahil kinakalaban mo ang gobyerno. Eh, ako po, 
ang dami ko nang uh, ang dami ko nang uh, mga mayors, governors na nakalaban and uh, up to this time uh, masasabi ko na the uh, media environment under Duterte has, uh, has not exactly uh, the ideal but so far the best kasi libre naman po tayong lahat eh tayo ngayon sa uh, social media sa YouTube, Facebook, Twitter uh, WordPress at iba pang mga platforms eh, wala pong tumi- wala pong pumipigil sa atin no? kaya nagtataka ako kung saan kinukuha ito ni Maria Reza yung mga sinasabi niya but uh, I can understand why she would exaggerate no? because it's her way of hitting back at President Duterte dahil nahuli sila eh no? uh, her, her mistake was that she was running a company that violated so many laws of the country especially our tax laws eh, mahirap po yan eh, nobody can be exempted no? not even a media man uh, tulad ng although freedom of the press is protected by the constitution I'm not saying that uh, the freedom is absolute no uh, hindi po sinasabi ko na uh, hindi ko po sinasabi na I am also guilty no? of uh, libelous making libelous remarks but you know when you courageously expose uh, corruption wrongdoing in government you tend to become a target for uh, libel cases even harassment no pero yung nga sinasabi ko eh ni minsan hindi ako umiyak hindi ako sumigaw na inaapi ako hinahabol ako ng gobyerno so ang advice ko po kay Maria Reza uh, just face just face the cases that are now pending before the courts eh, hindi related yan eh. these are not related to your work as a media person uh, these are violations of our tax laws which are very serious no?